hello everyone so yesterday I worked on this video some bug fixes on the bow and arrow system and in climbing system so but uh, unfortunately I have done the entire episode with my mic turned off and until someone comment out in my video that I, uh, we couldn't hear your voice so until that then I didn't know that I have done the episode without turning on the mic so yeah I don't check my videos afterwards so sorry about that so I'm trying to do a voice over to my own video today uh, because I don't feel like doing it again and also I don't have a backup of my project so yeah I'll try to do my best on doing the voiceover and I'll show you I'll explain the things and yeah also I have very limited knowledge in video editing so therefore I'm going to play this in a video player and I'm going to record that video player with my screen recorder while I do the voiceover. So let's hope it works. All right. So here I'm explaining what I was trying to do. Yeah, this is the guy point out the bug in the bow and narrow system. And Yeah, so first I am trying to figure out why my arrow does not hit this uh, enemy. So as you can see here, arrows are, enemy do not show any reaction to my arrows. Let's try again in a different angle. Maybe I am hitting the weapons. No, it doesn't look like that. Yeah, it is not working. Right. What was I doing now? Maybe I am trying to do it again in a closer range. Yeah, this may feel a little awkward for the people who don't know about, a back, about the backstory of this video because I am doing a voiceover so yeah <laughs> I can't really do anything about that so yeah what was I trying to do here yeah here this is the jump dodge part now I want to check this method so this is the method where I get the closest socket or to the arrow hit to some any point actually because uh, I am attaching to that socket my arrow on my arrow the arrow that hit on the character because I am thinking that something could be wrong with this function right uh, and yeah later I found out the problem was here this 30 because uh, if the distance between the closest bone and the arrow hit location is larger than zero I don't consider it as a hit but later I found out that 30 was not enough because so the optimum value was 60 I guess so that's what I'm trying to figure out here I'm gonna print the distance not that one that was wrong I had I was just trying to figure out whether is this that path that takes when I hit the enemy with an arrow so in the top left corner you can see false see so yeah so that's the path it was taking so I'm going to do some debugging here. It's uh, it actually it was really hard. It was hard to do debugging in a single screen. So I'm trying to do my best here. Put the blueprint in one side and 
the viewport in the other side now I have to select the debug object so yeah ch enemy patrolling that is the debug object that is the character you can see in the screen all right let's debug now when I play you wish I should be able to see the execution of that function yeah you can see it took the false branch of the method you can see here right now I'm sure that that is the path it is taking so then then what instead of printing this result I am going to print the distance and let's see again well I can't do it like this yeah you can see 52 on the top left corner and 51 yeah so that's the case my distance to the closest socket is larger than 30 right so I'm going to change this 30 into something like 70 and let's check again okay he died at the first shot that's because I have very low health on this guy let's check the health now I don't need this window anymore yeah max health is 20 so yeah I change the health back to 20 and I'm gonna put this window aside and get some room for the viewport okay the bug is fixed and this guy don't really care when I shoot him so I need to I really need to work on that I should rotate this guy towards myself when I hit him with an arrow yeah now I'm testing whether does that change introduce any problems to my existing system so I'm trying to get hit by them the arrows and see if anything is wrong we have a floating arrow here that's a bug I should address in future I should note that okay he ran out of arrows I guess let's give it a try again okay I guess everything is alright And is that all I did yesterday? It seems so. Yeah, I don't remember what else I said here. Uh, yeah, maybe I was saying like I'm I will upload a source code update soon in my climbing system. And yeah, I'm previewing some 
demonstration in my climbing system the progress that I have made so far and also I need to work on the animations like ledge grabbing animations because at the moment I'm just lurping between the jumping animation and ledge grab uh, on ledge hanging idle animation what else okay now I think I'm going back to yeah here here I had to do another modification I had to do this reset after taking this on wall pressing a space while I'm on wall or jumping while I'm on wall at the end of that I had to reset this to once not because uh, without that I was not able to jump again when I climb a wall so that's a new thing that's something I had to do outside the screen so I was just showing it and that's also another bug I have fixed and yeah so yeah i should be saying something like if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club wait i think i played the next video right uh, right and that's all mm, yeah and again i'm really sort of being stupid i guess so yeah and this is the voiceover the same video with voice and yeah i'll stop at this point for today and in the next episode i'll try to improve i'll continue to improve these systems i already have and thanks for watching if you like to yeah i said that already thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye